Are you sure you ready for dirt that goes on in the guard towers? Or that tuck while and I accidentally fall in with the notorious clique called the Hot Boys. They were notorious for sleeping with the inmates. Got called, they arrested you, and they put your photo up on the wall of shame. They told us how when there's low staff and it's a cool supervisor, there's no supervisor all on the hall, had one of their buddies at the front gate, and they would take the inmate, sneak them up on the guard tower for a few hours. You have to be clicked up. You have to take the inmate off the count and add them back to the count. So it's done at random. They call a count. You can't have a body missing. There's one guy had three inmates up there. I was scared at first. It's not one of the guards up there my first time. You get bored in there. Once you learn things, man, it's so much free time. They're obviously a prison clique within the correctional officers. It was a nickname people investigating them had given them. Some people alleged I'm a hot boy. No face, no case. I know evidence to prove that. You just running your mouth. DC the boys Alabama prison bro bows what's going on with y'all man make sure y'all like subscribe share the video comment on the video donate to the cash app or paypal if you're feeling generous man I want to give a shout out to Jay for the 10 on cash app man the platform appreciate it man if you want me to shout you out go on donate to the platform man it's got to be more than five though other than that you're just gonna get anonymous gratitude now today we have a snippet from the banned book written by former Alabama Department of Corrections officer Cedric Long, Long, also known as the corrupt author. This is just a snip, so if you want to hear more, let bro know in the comment section. I've been on bro forever, trying to get a copy of the banned book, and he said he done rewrote it a couple times and just had re-released it, man. So y'all check out his website at thecorruptauthor.com to see what else he got going on. So let him know how y'all feeling about this in the comments, man. Here we go. Honor the badge and oath or make a fast $100,000. John Youngblood, a young prison guard, uses PDW, partying, drinking, and women to keep his skeletons from digging themselves out of their graves. Officer Youngblood gets a fresh start after being transferred to work at a new facility, but his fresh new start turns stale after casual sex with a co-worker goes wrong. Drama, financial struggles, and stress from working in a prison begins to take a toll. An opportunity to make some illegal money seems to be the answer to all of Officer Youngblood's problems. If caught, he could end up in prison himself. Things worsen for Officer Youngblood when he begins to experience a series of life-threatening events all strung together by a mysterious love letter. Corrupt Officer's Guide to Money is the first book in the Corrupt Officer's Guide series. Based on real-life events of author Cedric Long, a former Alabama Department of Corrections officer, get ready to go inside a world the United States Justice Department called, quote, one of the most corrupt prison systems in America. Young Blood entered a small, private visitation room and saw his brother Melo waiting for him. This was a special visitation. They don't allow correctional officers to see their relatives on normal visitation days. Young Blood placed a big Whopper burger and a pack of smokes he purchased from the vending machine on the table. So, Melo said, heard you got into a little trouble. Young Blood chuckled. With his brother, he could laugh about their arrest. Melo never judged them, and they always had each other's backs. Man, Youngblood said, shaking his head. It was the most embarrassing thing I ever went through. They put my pictures and my home address in the papers. And you know some of the inmates got subscriptions, right? The warden freaked out, ordered a full institutional shakedown. They had to search every single bed in the prison to confiscate all the newspapers. Took hours. The officers were pissed. Melo laughed biting into his burger. Young Blood wanted to bring up the drugs he found next, 
but he didn't want to be a bad influence on Melo. Instead, he asked, You ever see anyone bring drugs in here? Melo smirked, his eyes gleaming with mischief. All the time, man. An officer can make some serious moolah doing that. Youngblood leaned forward. Yeah, but when they get fired, they lose everything. Income, benefits, retirement. Melo sat back, a grin spreading across his face. You can make so much money? By eight months in, you won't even care if you get caught. Young blood knew it then. It wasn't matter if he'd do it. The question now was when and how he'd get the drugs into prison. If I could do it all over again? Melo continued, wiping his mouth with the back of his hand. And I'd give up a life of crime and become a CO. Just so I could bring dope into the prison. Young blood had to laugh, but the laughter couldn't hide his sadness beneath the surface. Melo was his half-brother, a product of a hard life. They had the same father, but their upbringing was worlds apart. Young Blood had lived with his mother, while Melo had been abandoned by his mom and left to fend for himself with their father. That memory from the childhood still scarred the heck out of Young Blood today as a grown man. Melo was only 11 years old and had been in the house for two days before he picked up the phone and called Young Blood. And there y'all have it, man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. If y'all want to cop Bo books, go to Corrupt Author dot com as well as other online publications but mess with his main website because that's where he said he get the bread from amazon all that type of folks they they take it too much bread from bro so yeah man make sure y'all leave questions for him in the comment section shout out to bro for this piece of content he blessed the platform with man i'm gonna do my best to bring y'all more dc the voice alabama prisoner profiles